Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Ordan. This is a good cup of joe. But anyway folks, today I'm going to be reviewing a comedy film called Click. So yeah, I'm reviewing a comedy film today because you know I feel like I should review more comedy movies because I mean I'm often reviewing something that's anime or horror, so I you know a nice change of pace. So I thought I would uh, review a comedy film. So let's just get into it. So let's just get into it, shall we? Mm -hmm. As always, folks, let's talk about the story. Of this movie, Adam Sandler plays a character that's overworked, who neglects his family and misses most of his life when he receives a remote device that enables him to skip over unpleasant events. In the, in this movie, the main character in this movie is married to his longtime sweetheart Donna with two children. Yeah the main character's name is Michael. He's Michael is is he pushed around by his overbearing boss and on a number of occasions Michael was willingly sac sacrifices his time with his family to work so he can give them all kinds of you know possessions he never had. While going on in a search uh, of a universal remote control, and at a Bath and Beyond store, Michael, the lead character, falls onto a bed and then you know, proceeds to the station. I mean, the the section marked Beyond. There he meets this mysterious clerk, uh, whom gives him this universal, quote unquote, remote, you know, that con you know, controller, and warns him that he can never be returned. Under the video. However, to Michael's amazement. He does find that the remote can control the actual universe, primarily um, time itself. Michael uses it. Michael uses it to skip fights with his wife, and, and goes forward until he rids himself of a cold and skip a uh, family dinner to work. So he does which means he just, which means he doesn't want to be around boring or mundane little things but anyway I don't want to give away too much of the story but um, the main character he, Michael he he pretty much uses this remote that controls time in a way a lot of ways he uses device so yeah I don't want to give away too much of the story of this movie but to be but to be honest with you folks I I didn't think this was this this was not a good movie at all, really. And uh, in my honest opinion, it does borrow shamelessly from uh, movies like *It's a Wonderful Life*, and it does and it and it tries to be like a *Back to the Future* type of thing, but slightly it does not work. It does not work at all. Ugh, maybe drinking this will make me forget about the movie. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. No more. Yeah, Click. You know, it tries to be like a family type of a movie, which is fine. I got another thing against family movie, family comedy films, but this movie even fails at that. There's no, there's, there's no, there's nothing funny about this movie. Nothing. Well. 
I found you know you know what movie I found was more entertaining than this? Well, this movie. Yeah, I actually like that movie. Ooh, big whoop. But anyway, on with this fucking movie, which I thought was boring. Yeah, this movie is looking boring. I mean, there's no chemistry between the characters. There was no chemistry between the characters at all. Fuck. This movie is just... To me, it's just a, it's a snooze fest, folks. It's a big snooze fest. <sighs> I mean, I never want to watch this again. Maybe it's on cable. Maybe I watch it. Maybe not. <sighs> but anyway, moving on. Moving on. This crap. There's no laugh. It, it didn't make me laugh. And I mean, and I, I try to get credit this sense on a. He tried to create this sense of adventure type of thing, but it didn't. It felt like that. It failed to create the, that sense of wonder. There's no. Um, it's not laugh. It's not. It's not laughable. I mean, I mean it's laughably bad. It, it, it made me laugh for the wrong intentions, but is it actually funny? No. Not funny at all. This is easily one of the weakest comedies I've seen from Addis Sensler. I mean, he, he does have a good sense of humor, but I don't know what happened in this movie. It just came off really rushed. And it did come off like it was just, they were just making it up as, as they went. <sighs> I did watch this movie in the morning. And when the movie was over, I was like, A good morning. Where art thou? That's a, it has a weak script, a weak story, a bard and elements from other films that were, that were way better than this. The acting, the acting was piss poor at best. Nothing was funny at all. You know what was actually funny? This. Whoa, mama! Get a room, you two! We're in a room! Well then lose some weight! <laughs> Quit touching my junk per Such a shame that this movie is lacking that. Didn't even chuckle once. Shit. Uh, don't get me wrong folks, I do like Adam Sensler and all. Sensler. And I do think he does, he does make funny movies. But I don't know, for some reason lately he's not doing that good. And Click is one of them. It's, it's, and it's not the worst movie I've ever seen. But I don't. Uh, but I'm not trying to say it, it is, folks, because it's not. But I've seen. I did, I did see him do far better than this. Far, far better. This movie was just boring, folks. It was very m mundane and boring. And. I mean, it does kind of go some for those laughter type of stuff, but it's sorry, it just it just didn't work at all. And would I watch this again? No, I won't. I won't buy. I won't buy on Blu-ray. I won't buy on on DVD. Maybe if it's on cable, maybe I take a glimpse at it. Maybe I guess, but yeah, I, just, I won't I definitely not be seeing this anytime soon. The jokes were flat, the writing was flat, the music felt generic as hell. And and it does attempt it actually doesn't try to kind of attempt to make out a joke out of something, but it doesn't it doesn't do that. It's the fact that, that the actors and actresses in this movie aren't even really you know, putting out their best in here. It just felt very half assed. They just wanted to put something on the screen and be done with it. That's how it came up to me, just get done with it. 
And while I was watching the movie, oh, that's how that's how I felt. Let's just get done with it. Because, like I said, that you just have a very good story. You just have a strong. I know that I know that there are some people that actually did enjoy this movie, which is fine, folks. No power to ya. But sadly, this movie did not do it for me. And it just didn't do it for me at all. It felt lazy in a lot of ways. Like, like for example, like the writing of the jokes. And, yeah, the characters, I don't know the characters at all. All of the characters felt one-dimensional. None of the characters felt three-dimensional at all. None of them felt, none of the characters felt fully developed at all. There's barely a story to speak of. The plot barely goes anywhere. There's not much of a plot to speak of. There's not, there isn't really much of a plot development at this. I mean, a lot of the stuff that does happen within the story does feel very, does feel very convenient just to push things along. And, yeah, they don't use a lot of cheap plot devices just to push the movie along. Which to me made, which to me made me feel like we was cheated on in some ways. You know, the plot feels cheap, the jokes feel cheap, just, the music, is, like I mentioned earlier, the music isn't well composed at all. Even the composer of, the, of this movie just wanted to get it over with. Um, I mean, some of the camera work in this movie was okay, I guess. Some of the editing was okay. But, I mean, I mean this movie could, could have the best editing and the best camera angles in the world, but it's not going to save it if everything else in the movie isn't good. And... And, um, lo most likely, most likely, a lot of people watched this movie just because Adam Sazzler was in it. And, I mean, I mean he, he did a poor job in this. I mean, I, I like him. He comes off as like a cool guy in a lot of ways. Don't get me wrong, folks. But still, this movie's not his best. It's far from it from his best. I've seen, live his, I've seen plenty of his movies. It's, this is definitely one of his weakest. It felt like it was just, this movie would just be made just to have something out there. It was just done, just to be done. Just to have something put together and get on just with the screens. It just felt like it was just being made just for the sake of being made to be put out. That was simply it. I, I wouldn't recommend watching this comedy film even if you're bored at home. Because it, it's, it's not a good, it's not one of those movies that's just good time wasting. But... Like I said before, this is probably one of my least favorite comedy films I've seen in recent time. And it felt like it, it, felt like it was not even trying. I mean, granted, yes, it's not the worst movie I've seen. I've seen movies that were hell of all wasn't this. But still, uh, but still, this doesn't stop the movie from, you know, being just bad. This is, yeah, this is a really bad movie. And I mean, it's, I'll say it's slightly below average. It's just very, very slightly below average. <sighs> I just wish that, again, I know, again, I just wish I liked this movie a hell of a lot more than I, um, than the way it turned out. I just wish it was better. But anyway, folks, I would give this film a total score of a four point. 5 out of 10. It gets a 4.5 out of 10. It's just slightly below average. Just It's slightly below mediocre. <sighs> so there you go. It, my review of a click is just awful. A 4.5 out of 10 it gets. It's, it sucks ass. Alright. <sighs> well folks. As always. Thanks for watching. And take care. I need a drink. I'm all out. Damn it. Oh well.